In 2006, according to the latest United States cancer statistics, more than a million new cancer cases were diagnosed in the U.S., including around 20,000 in Connecticut. So how do you fit in? Well, to figure that out, doctors typically ask patients a few questions to evaluate individual risk factors for cancer, figure out when you ought to get screened. They'll want to know your age and family history. That's because the rate of colon cancer accelerates after age 50. For certain people who have first degree relatives with colon cancer, doctors say you may want to be screened 10 years before that. For example, a father who had it at 40, he may start at 30. A father who had it at 60, you can start at 50. While age and family history have been the primary driving force behind those recommendations, there are new strides towards early detection. For the first time, we're beginning to quantify other risks such as smoking and, and, and obesity. Dr. Joseph Anderson, the clinical director of the Colon Cancer Prevention Center at UConn, has come up with a new set of standard patient questions. How much do you smoke? What are your nutritional habits? What is your body mass index or BMI? How often do you exercise? Your answers help doctors paint a clearer picture of your overall health, specifically your cancer risks. New studies have found the longer you're obese, just like the longer you smoke, the more at risk you become to have cancer. There's no reason for someone who's in their 40s, 50s, or even 60s who are overweight to say that all is lost. Doctors say it's all the more reason to adopt a healthy lifestyle early on, but really at any point. Audrey Kuchin, Fox, Connecticut.